Hi everybody, Tim Coffey here. In part two of the Serial Box Canvas tutorial, I use this digital stamp to create the design on the Serial Box Canvas. You can download the digital stamp for free by visiting my website, timcoffeyart.com. In this part, I'm adding color to the dimensional design I created in part two. But first, I want to thank Annette, also known as Charmful Delights here on YouTube. She showed an embellishment she made using her hot glue gun, and it inspired me to try the hot glue gun technique I showed last week in part two of the Serial Box Canvas series. You can find Annette's video in my favorites list. It's called Fun Embellishments. I started out mixing some yellow, orange, and brown, and white acrylic paint together to make a yellow ochre color, but you can use any colors you want. This acrylic painting technique is all about layering colors with washes or glazing and dry brush. I dry brushed brown to accent the centers by hitting just the raised parts of the design. I mixed some green with the brown and white and filled in the flower centers. I mixed cadmium red light with cadmium red medium to create a rich red color and I roughly filled in the background. I added some red accents to the petals also. I mixed orange with water to make a thin wash and coated the entire canvas. This gets rid of all the white spots that are showing through, but some of the color underneath still shows through the wash. You can use a paper towel to rub away some of the excess if you want. Now I want to explain that sometimes I use acrylic in the tube and other times I use the acrylic craft paint in the bottles. The paint in the bottles is more liquid, while the tube colors are thicker. The tube acrylics are made with the purest pigments possible for the sake of mixing your own colors, while the bottle acrylics are designer colors and they are pre-mixed. But you can mix them together in any combination you want to create the colors you want. So if you see me using a particular color in a bottle or a tube, it really comes down to personal preference and whatever you have on hand. When the wash dried a bit, I accented the flowers and background with an aqua color. I dry brushed some iridescent bronze to accent the raised parts of the design.
I brushed some brown around the raised areas to accentuate them, and I wiped away the excess with a paper towel to blend the brown into the background colors. You might remember from part two that for this project I had used the box, the cereal box that I had turned inside out, and you might see that it caved in just a little after it was painted. So the next canvas I paint, I will use the canvas where I covered the entire thing with masking tape to see how the box holds up in the painting process. Also I want to mention that Pavina, also known as My Autumn Sunset here on YouTube, created a seascape project using cardstock as a canvas and I've put that video in my favorites list too. With acrylic paint there's no limit to how many layers and washes or glazes that you could put on. So you could keep going and going until you get just the colors and textures that you want. But I'm going to stop here and call it finished. As the final step, I taped the wire in place to prepare it for hanging on the wall. What I really like about this cereal box canvas is its versatility. You can hang it on a wall or you can stand it up and display it on a mantle. If you also paint the back side, it can be placed on a coffee table where it will be viewed from both sides. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.